One Mountain family claims school leaders aren't doing enough to punish a student they say is bullying their son. News 13's Rex Hodge joins us from the Western News Center this evening. What kind of punishment would they like to see, Rex? In the heat of emotion, Eric and Becca Bowen say the student allegedly bullying their son should not just should be kicked out of school, not just face in-school suspension. They say he threatened to kill their son, Hunter. But Haywood County school leaders say that's an unsubstantiated rumor. This kid at my school is calling me names like stupid, dumb. Hunter Bowen goes to Bethel Middle School, but he says for five years now, one fellow student has been bullying him. Hey, I'm different from everyone else, and I got a cyst on the back of my brain. Hunter and... says it may slow him down a bit and scramble his handwriting, but he does what all other kids do and enjoys his classes and sports. It's gotten out of hand now. But his parents say the bullying has gotten worse. It's gotten to the point where now he's being threatened to be beat up or to be killed, and the child's only gotten two days in school suspension. In this uh, day and time, you know, with stuff going on, you know, you just, you got to take this stuff seriously. Hunter's parents say two days of in-school suspension isn't enough. Yeah, at this point in time, I'm mad. I'd like to see him kicked out of school, but that's not going to be the best thing for the kid. There was never a direct threat. Haywood County Schools Associate Superintendent Bill Nolte says the bullying allegation on August 17th was properly handled under law and policy and corroborated by several sources. There was never a, a, a situation where one student went up to another student face to face and said, I'm going to do X, Y, and Z to you. Nolte says a week passed before the indirect threatening comment surfaced. Now, there's no evidence to indicate that the, the allegation that was made a week after the fact was really what happened. Hunter Bowen continues to go to school. He's running for student council president. On his platform, a proposal for a bully to buddies program. Where you have to eat like lunch and stuff with the bully. With the hope, he says, of working things out. And all parties agree, ultimately, it's education that will teach tolerance and acceptance. Reporting live tonight from the Western News Center, Rex Hodge, News 13.